Hi, this is Graham Fife from Happy Digital. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply density maps to autograss, which lets you get a varying density of grass across a surface. So I'm going to open up a little architectural scene that I have here, just a little house on a hill. I'm going to select my hill object and apply autograss onto it. I'm going to go to the autograss modify panel and I'm going to scroll down to the map section and you can see there's a bunch of different maps that you can apply today I'm going to put on a density map so I'll click that now let's say the owner of this house hasn't watered his lawn in a long time so I'm just going to throw on a stucco map which will be mostly no grass with a few patches of grass here and there and I can bring up the material editor to take a look at my map and uh, you know, type in a size or whatever, and I can adjust the map or use different maps and so on. But anyway, that's already on there, so let's do a render and see what it looks like. So as we can see, you can see the ground object underneath the grass, and the grass is showing up in patches. Now my ground object has just a plain green material on here. It doesn't look like real ground. It's not what you would really want on there. So Autograss comes with preset earth materials that you can apply to your ground objects. So I'm going to click the Earth Material Presets button on the Autograss modifier panel. And I have four to choose from. There's dry or wet. So wet is basically just darker. And there's coarse or fine. So coarse earth has larger pebbles in it. I'm going to go ahead and put a dry coarse earth on here. And now that's already applied to the ground object so I can just do another render. So now we have a realistic ground material with grass growing on it in patches and you could of course use this to do whatever kind of landscaping you wanted like a path or whatever because it's just using ordinary maps to set up the density.